I'm the nursing instructor at the Connemaw School of Nursing. It was actually formed after, shortly after the hospital was formed. It was a school of like six students, four of them actually graduated. It's been around for a really long time. We're one of the few in the state that's hospital based. So for a student at the Connemaw School of Nursing, a daily routine would either be clinical or classroom, and we do have an extensive clinical rotation. That's actually one of the draw for a lot of the students is the clinical experience that they get here at the Conwell School of Nursing. So a day for them usually begins in the classroom around 8 a.m. Classroom isn't necessarily structural like a classroom. It could be here in the skills lab doing hands-on experience. Um, if it is a clinical day, they are starting around 6.45, 7 o'clock, just like a normal nurse would over on the clinical units at Conwell Hospital. Typical student schedule is at least two days a week will be clinical scenario. So it'll either be simulation lab or actually on the hospital unit in a clinical setting. Um, the other three days would be classroom. Now again, that wouldn't necessarily be structured like a normal classroom. There would be activities, there might be simulation lab involved with that as well. So it's very hands-on. I think here at the Conwell School of Nursing, we really have those ample clinical hours. That's what's a draw for a lot of students when looking at our school compared to other schools. And I've even had nurses on the unit tell me, oh, I wish I would have went to the School of Nursing because you guys have a ton of clinical hours compared to other schools. We're there on the floor. We're working with these patients. We're working with people who may one day be our co-workers or our boss. I tell my students all the time, you have to go to clinical prepared like this is a job interview because managers are watching, employees are watching, and when it comes time for graduation, they're looking at the students that they remember, that mm -hmm. were memorable, that really took that time with the patient or had that good work ethic. I do have a, a really strong personal connection to Connemall just because I feel like it gave me my start. The people here gave me my start. Somebody believed in me. It was actually Heather Richards at the time. She was who I went to for my first interview. And all along from the managers, they gave me the opportunity. You know, there was 20 of us that graduated from that patient care assistant program, and it was one manager who reached out to me that gave me the opportunity on med surge. You know, I do think it is the people that I am most passionate about. This isn't my hometown. This isn't actually where I live, but this has very much become my second community, and the people here have very much become my second community as well. You know, when I go into a patient's room and I tell my students the same thing, this is somebody's someone. This is somebody's mother, father, sister, brother, and you have to treat every person like that. You have to go in with that mentality. This person means somebody to somebody and their health and their care is extremely important.